folks. All right, this is for the uh, missing information on the heated steering wheel swap and the newer F-150s. So basically, this is our original HVAC module, and this is our new HVAC module with the digital readout. Now, before you swap these two, you need to grab the as-built data from Forescan from the original module save it then you need to put in your new module and then completely rewrite all the data with enabling the first let's see 733-0102 and it's this last digit and for us it was a nine so on the raptor r i'd probably say it's a pretty safe bet that it's all going to be a nine so that's just for the heated steering wheel um, and to make the heated seats work, um, everything else works, but just the heated seats. So without that, it's not going to work. Now, we have to grab the data off the steering wheel control module, SCCM. And so here's the new one, and this has the heated steering wheel plug. Now, the one that's currently in the truck does not have the plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that off and swap them. However, before I do that, I need to grab the as-built data from the current SCCM, save it to the computer. That way, when I put the new module in, when I put it on, it's gonna write. So, anyway. All right, so here is the original SCCM that came, and there's the dummy plug for the heated steering wheel, which is right there. So all we gotta do is plug that guy in. And now what we're going to do is load my as-built data onto the SCCM. So I'm going to click play. Okay, and we're going to load all. And we're going to go to as-built SCCM. So now this is previously I saved it from this module when it was installed. So now... Now I'm going to load it all. So that's loaded. Now we're going to click write all. Yes. It's gonna ask me to cycle off the key. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of reprogramming here for the SCCM module. So down here. So this is to enable it. So it's 724-01. 01. So that's the first one, and I need to change the zero to an eight. So zero to an eight. And then I'm gonna click right, and click yes. Boom, we're gonna click the one. Okay, so now the SCCM has been reprogrammed. Um, now we can change the different levels of temperature and the auto shutoff time. So we're gonna change, uh, we're gonna just say it's gonna be at 100 degrees, so not quite the hottest, but the hottest out of the kind of safer range, I guess. I don't really know. So 100 degrees, and we're gonna do no, no shutoff. So 724, 06, 01. So currently it's a B, which is 95 degrees. We're gonna change that to E, which is right here. Okay. And then we're gonna do 724.06.01, which is the second digit. And we're going to change that to a zero, which it already is a zero. See that, E zero. So that's 100 degrees with um, shut off of never. So we're going to write all and click yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to click on, click off. Now, I'm going to plug this guy in. Okay. So with that being said, now we have all the, um, the, steering wheel controls working now so that's a plus 
So now, the last test is we're going to need to start the motor. So, foot on the brake. So we're started. Now, we're gonna press the heated steering wheel. And now this puppy should start to get warm. All right, so here we are in the SCCM. We've got the heated steering wheel plugged in and the heated steering wheel button's on. It's on the screen and it is warm to the touch. Now, for some strange reason, it did not like the E7 is the value that we changed. It did not like the infinite loop. We we're not getting any power coming out of um, coming out of the module to send to the steering wheel, but now the steering wheel is warm at a 60 minute timer. So anyway, kind of strange, but who knows? Now have our climate events, a digital readout. Heated steering wheel is on. And the buttons work both sides. And the steering wheel is getting warm. There you go. Sweet. A little bit of trial and error with four scan, but got it to work. So hope this helps you. I'm gonna leave the spreadsheets um, here in the video, and um, good luck.